Okay. Now, um, another group that has committed its energy to reforming the basic education finance system for the needs of all students is the Black Education Alliance. Have I got that right? Round table. I can only go with what's on my feet. I'll let you straighten that out. But representing them today, and I'm sure she's doing a wonderful job of, of that, is Cheryl Jones. Please welcome her. sitting here going, oh, it's so cool. It is a pleasure to be here, and I do community <laughs> outreach for the Black Education Roundtable. And the most important thing to know is that we are here in Olympia, just like you are, fighting this fight, because we believe that basic education reform is required, and full funding of basic education reform. We work with looking at the achievement gap of students that are not just children of color, but children that are low income that may not have all the access and the opportunities to education that they need. But we also realize that no one group is suffering, that unless we change basic education for all children, that every group is going to suffer. So as we look at the achievement gap, and we look at the achievement gap of African-American students and Latino students and students that are in poverty, we know that yes, there are changes that have to be made there, but we also know that the entire education system has to be reformed in order for those changes to happen. The other thing we know is that it's really hard in Olympia right now because of all the economic crisis, not just here but around the country. But we know that we will come out of this economic crisis. And when we do, our children need to be educated so that they can take care of the opportunities that will be afforded to them when we come out of this crisis. What we don't... What we don't need to do is to make sure that we come out of a crisis and we have children that can't get jobs, that can't compete in the world market. So it's so important that education is first when we're here in Olympia talking about all the initiatives that need to happen. Education has to be first. Our children absolutely have to come first. And the other thing that we know, and I'm a parent and a grandparent, is that what the work that the PTA does is so important. As I work with children in my community, children that have been left behind, children that are suffering, children that are not getting the education they need, the most important factor is parents. And it is so important, the work that the PTA does, that you continue to do the work that you're doing, that you reach out into every community, because every child to be successful in school in school needs a strong parenting force or they need strong advocates to make sure that they can get the benefits from that quality education. So I want to thank you on behalf of the Black Education Roundtable, on behalf of children of color everywhere, on behalf of children that have been left behind. I want to thank the PTA and all of you that are parents for the hard work that you do for being here, for advocating on behalf of basic education for all children across the state of Washington. Thank you.